So I said I wasn't gonna necessarily play this straight away, but uh, I just kept thinking about Hylix in my in in my moments of downtime, and I figured why not why not just do Hylix too? So I'm gonna do Hylix too. Uh, this is I've heard a lot of this game's soundtrack, in particular this song. It's about to get amazing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Everything just comes together there during that part. Anyway, uh, we, we got some awesome art here. This is from Electric Cleric. The music is so loud in my ears that I can't, I can't even hear myself think. Uh, yeah, you know, it's a sign of a good series when uh, you just keep thinking about it, <laughs> you know? And you just want to play more of it, and thankfully here, uh, there is more of it. There's actually a lot more of it. Uh, but thank you, Electric Cleric. Uh, this is gruesome, and I mean that in a good way. Uh, it's beautiful. So thank you. Uh, I see no reason not to just jump right into it. I did not get the zip file. I assume you're talking about Toho. I did not get that yet, but I'm... I am patiently waiting. I, I have no... I'm in no rush, so... No worries if they take a while getting it to me. It's, uh... Not a big deal at all. Uh, oh no, I don't want to listen to Silent Hill music. It auto-played. Uh, so, 
let's just open the game. I don't know what volume would be good, but... Just booted up the game and played like two seconds of it just to test it out. Should take a hot second to actually capture. Let's see if it works. Ah, yes. More Hylix. This one has Unity. Or Blender, rather. I don't know. I don't think this is made in Unity. Maybe it is? I have no idea. This time with 3D models that aren't just clay. Uh, I'm gonna leave the volume there for now, but maybe we'll adjust it. Load. My favorite word in the English language. Okay. Let's play. This one has controller support. So I'm excited, and I, I've seen Isabel play a little bit of this one. That's cool. I know how it looks. I don't know much else about it. I know it's got, like, platforming. Slug? Slug. I think I skipped this. Yeah. When I tested out the game, because I do not remember it doing that. Okay. I am Wayne. Wayne was slain. Jump is spacebar. Of course, I'm using controller, so... There's a jump button. And it's not grid-based anymore, and I can spin! Uh... By the way, I'm thinking maybe I'll do a little bit of this and then a little bit of Celeste. This might be kind of a short Hylix 2 stream. We'll see. We'll see how... We'll see if I can't, like, tear myself away from it. But I kind of want to do some Celeste as well. Change appearance. Huh? Oh, cool. I've got a little cloak now. Am I, like, Femme Wayne? Oh, interesting. Huh. Based. First of all, based. I'll just go with standard Wayne, though. Okay. Uh, the game, it looks like just, just visually is such an upgrade from the first game. Look at this fucking painting of me on the wall. Hello, slug. Nice kitty. Wow, this is just gonna keep happening until I press a button, isn't it? That's awesome. Coin. It, it's, it's so weird seeing it. It's like 3D. It's 3D. Yeah? Hello? I heard that, uh, TVs bestow the techniques of gestural combat. Hey, that sentence made sense. What the fuck, dude? Back when the accretion hit, the strongest gesture was buried. Buried. <laughs> Learned Purimer Bleb. So, the most exposure I've had to this game is the soundtrack. I'm gonna turn it up a bit, actually. Uh, even though right now it's not exactly popping off. Uh, there are some jams on this soundtrack, though. Hello? Wayne's? By holding down the jump button, one may slow their descent. After many years of training, of course. I did it. <laughs> Huff puff. There's a dodge roll in this game? Those who bear pneumatophores may dodge while airborne. Some may even briefly fly. Pneumatophores. Maybe that's something I unlock later. Nice kitty. And these guys are slapping with their gloves. Start combats with a timely slap to gain a brief will bonus. Can I do that? Yes, I can. Y you like, you like throw down the gauntlet. You take off your glove and slap them with it, which to those of you who are uninitiated means you are beginning a duel with that person. You propose a, a challenge. Okay, I feel like I'm going, whoa. <laughs> it's pretty easy to tell, like, 
already I've I've seen some things like on the menu screen and shit that look like they're made in Blender. Whereas this is clearly actual claymation. You can just sort of tell. Yeah. Watch your tone, motherfucker. Can I climb up this? See, this game has platforming, so I can do slick plays in it. It looks so, like, crazy. Like, the first game looked crazy. This is like a different breed. The dogs were being ridiculously loud. Is that like the shape of an infant baby here on the ground? Okay, is that all there is? This is just like the Wayne train grounds? Hold on, how do I like get up there? Can I get up there? Like the dogs right before the stream just would not shut up. It's like, okay, I guess I'll take you outside. Now they're outside and now they won't shut up. Okay. I see. There was a much easier way to get right here. <laughs> the Elder Wayne. He's got, he's got Wayne tips on his Wayne tips. The stars forecast a flourishing of prescribed gestures. Gibby's agents work to reconstitute their master. Proceed west and seek out your ally, Blero, that he might be forewarned. Alas, the others haven't completed their training, so you will go alone. Can you guys hear the dog at all? Maybe like while I'm talking the faintest amount is my guess. Okay. Oh, push kitty. Well, I'm glad you can't hear it, because I can hear it, and it's driving me fucking insane. This dog that we are dog-sitting for is the worst dog I've ever fucking seen in my life. Ah, yes. Pools with fountains are linked to the afterlife. From there, you may return to any such pool you've previously entered. Okay, cool. Interesting, so you can just go straight to the afterlife? If you'd like... Hmm... You found juice! You found cookie! You found empty! <laughs> Did I just sink into the Pepto-Bismol? Nice kitty. Nice kitty. Nice kitty. Nice kitty. Nice kitty. These Wayne larvas have just emerged. They'll be sent on to the house when their car carapaces harden up. <laughs> so I'm one of many Waynes. You found burrito. I did not input that. There's some weird drift going on here. You found meat! That guy didn't look comfortable or safe. Okay. I don't even remember, what was the name of, like, Bempto or whatever the f- what was the guy, name of the guy that I was supposed to find? Oh, I was like, I thought I might be able to bounce on these. Can. Do they bounce me higher every single time? Uh... <laughs> he stirs the Pepto. You gonna, like, select a destination? Wait, no, it's okay. No, I'm gonna back out. Can I back out, please? Weird. Like, some dogs... A lot of dogs, I think, if they want something, they'll just bark until they die. 
Like, they'll, they'll just bark until the fucking sun fizzles out. It's kind of absurd. Oh, hello. Clean means respite from bad statuses for a little while. Please go ahead. You became clean. Suck this cock clean! Who's at the meat grinder? Look at this guy. See, now this is a blender creation. Hey, I'm using this one. Find your own. Sorry. One meat tendered. Maximum flesh increased by one. Cool. Yeah, like small dogs. Is the dog not trained? The dog is a spoiled fucking brat piece of shit. Who is used to being like doted after every second of every day. We are house sitting for it currently. <laughs> you just kind of like sink into this. That doesn't feel intended. A lot of the things in the in the level geography look like hands. Okay. <laughs> Wayne is just walking up every once in a while, by the way, with and I'm not even remotely touching the control stick. So I might switch to keyboard controls for this. It's the first time I've ever had drift up issues. Okay. Uh Whoa. Who's this guy? Machines up the stairs. Warp pools past that. Welcome to the afterlife. I thought I could actually talk to this person while jumping. I thought I would have to stand on solid ground next to him. Okay, so... Can I, like... Is there anything out here? Seems like I can just do this forever. I love that you have, like, a Luigi flutter jump in this game. Controller support is fucked in this game. I think it's just an issue with my controller, but hard to say. Oh, there's a wall. That's lame. Well, into the juice I go. <laughs> Dead. Okay. I don't suppose there's anything, like, secret. And, like, here's the thing. Little dogs, sometimes, like, the absolute fucking most chiller dogs of all time, who will never, like, do anything to give you any kind of shit. And then some dogs, it seems like their entire purpose in life is to be annoying. And, like, be, like, the most miserable piece of shit on the planet. So, I guess I'm just teleporting back to my house. Didn't really seem like there was much of a place to go. Around here. It's the afterlife, of course. So, let's just... Wayne House. Okay, how do I actually... Like, go there, though. I'm pressing all the buttons on the controller. The only- the, if I hit the confirm button, it just does nothing. Is it like, now I sink into it? Big dogs are also, like, the fucking worst sometimes. Because big dogs, it's like, no one can, like, stop them. If they just decide, you know, I'm just gonna, like, put all of my weight on this person and just sort of, like, fleck my tongue and just, like, spray, sprinkle them with slobber. I think that's what I'm gonna do, and if, you know, what are you gonna do? Kick me? What are you gonna do? Stop me? Cool, try it. Isabel and I both, during this whole ordeal, have been like, this has confirmed our desire to not get dogs. We just don't see, like, it, it just seems like so much more trouble than it's worth. 
unless you get the most chiller dog of all time. Okay, uh, you know, I'm lost in the first area because I don't really see anywhere else to go. He said go west, but like, I think these are all just closed off. Oh no, this goes somewhere. Isabel doesn't like cats. Isabel was, was menaced by cats when she was younger. And I'm allergic, so we're not getting one. Fuck. I might switch to keyboard because the controller is just not working out for me right now. I find cats, personally, way, way less obnoxious than dogs. Because cats just do their own fucking thing so much of the time. Whereas dogs, like 90% of them are like, blah, 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 blah. I need attention and I'm right in your face and I need attention right now and I'm gonna scream and stuff. And it's like, oh my God, I just want to sit here. Can I sit here, please? Can, am I allowed to sit here? Those who possess pneumatophor may cross the sea north to Vuix's edifice. Hold on, I, like, what is going on with the fucking dog here? And like, okay, so the dogs are downstairs, right? By the way, the game's awesome. Uh, the dogs are downstairs. Isabel and I are upstairs. There's like, right in the dead center of the house is the place where the dogs are situated so that every room in the house can hear them yap. And then in the morning, when, when morning comes, when it's like 6 a.m., this shithead dog that we're dog sitting for starts just yapping permanently forever, always, constantly, until the sun burns out. Loud, shrill, obnoxious barking. And it like barks in a pattern, too. Anybody know what I'm talking? It goes, It woo 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 woo. It woo 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 woo. It woo 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 woo. And that in and of itself drives me fucking insane. Anybody ever have, like, a, a dove or, like, a quail or whatever the fuck it is outside of your room? It, it, like, early in the morning, like, outside your, like, window or whatever, and it goes, Ooh, 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 Infinity, infinity forever, always. For always, ever, forever. And it drives you nuts. That, like, kills my brain. That, like, fries, like deep fries my fucking brain. And and the, 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 the parents, the adults of the household here, are the ones who are taking care of the dogs. The dogs are right outside their room. This dog will be barking so loud and so shrill for so long, for like an hour in the morning, and nobody does anything about it. And I'm like, fine, I guess I'll go downstairs and let the dog out because I guess this is a problem that only affects me or something? Are other people immune to this, like the most annoying thing on the planet? These... are these friends? You get three seconds of hope and then it starts again. Yeah. Uh, did the game crash? I thought the game crashed for a second there. Well, I might just touch one of these and just see what happens. These kind of feel like an ambulant skull type of scenario. Scenario. Now yeah, let's touch one. Yes, this music. Galliform does. Oh, good. It's good to see that I still will not be able to read the fucking text in this game. Maybe there's an option to slow it down. Gizzard spume. <laughs> Awesome. This is what I've been looking forward to. I, this is an amazing song. Should I turn it up even more? How, how's the volume for you guys? Galliform Cave Sinist Silamvog Sil Slim Silk Song 
all the enemies do like a weird little dance when they're in battle with you. See, I would be willing to bet that all three of these are blender creations and not claymation. Well, let's just try attacking. Fuck it. Oh my god. Okay, you can actually see how much health they have. That's cool. I instantly died. <laughs> the new head melting scene. Well, press accept to continue. You have to accept your death. Okay. Uh, fuck, is this a quicker way? What's the quickest way to the pool? I, I might have to go- I might actually have to go, like, fucking pause the stream and just go, like, I don't know, just, like, give dog attention for, like, one second so it'll shut the fuck up. They might be clay sculptures that Mason scanned into 3D models. That is entirely possible. Every time you see my character just move up a little bit, it is not me, it is a ghost controlling my game. Okay, so it looks like it's gonna be just like the first game where when you don't have party members, you basically just wanna avoid combat at all costs. Right, I keep forgetting. Just walk to the side here to get out. I can't, like, run, either. There's no run button, as far as I can tell. Oh, wait! There's a roll! I can do a roll! There we go, it's the... bumper. Oh, and I do have a run button. Left bumper to run, right bumper to roll. I want to go to that thing, but I think it's gonna just automatically place me in Wayne's house. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I love how you just flat planking face down on the ground like that. Yeah, let me look if I can slow down the battle text. Man, I tell you what, I'm gonna have to go, like, I'm gonna have to do something about this fucking dog because it is just not shutting up. I am so sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm genuinely really sorry. I hate having to just pause the stream and go do something, but this dog will not fucking shut up. So goodbye. I'll be back in a bit.
Holy fucking shit, man. <laughs> I just I just don't get why you get one of these. I, I don't get what motivates a person to get one of these. You know you can just look at cute pictures online, right? Do people who own dogs know about internet? Because it is one trillion percent not worth having one. If it's anything like 50% of dogs. The cute pictures don't love you. Hey, guess what? You just feed them. And they just keep coming back. They don't have souls. Welcome to New Mildu. By the way, I just had to let the little shitter out of the little, like, pen area and just, like, roam around, because I don't give a shit. <laughs> like, like, I don't, I don't give two fucks as long as it shuts the hell up. The, the other people are like, oh, it's not fair to the other dogs if you just let it out and not them, and I'm like, I, they have no concept of fairness. I just want to be sane. I just wish to live a second of peace. Okay, I think that probably turned on this warp, if I had to guess. Can you put the dog on the stream? Just watch the last, like, half hour of the VOD, dude. Got you covered. Oh, look, it's the little guys from Subspace Emissary. You can bounce them around. What the fuck were those things called? Like, mibits, fibits, or some shit? <laughs> and, like, those little things, those are clearly clay. This looks like a face. Stem cell. Cupcake. By the way, this game has, uh... I think the only other team member that was hired on, that's a butterfly wing, is a new composer for this game. Okay, this is a store. Burritos are so cheap. I wonder if they'll get more expensive as the game goes on. Oh, wait. Is this something? I'm switching to keyboard. Uh, it's... <laughs> I was really happy about controller support, but I'm switching to keyboard. It's so, like, weird. Okay. No, I was just seeing the exclamation mark from that guy. Okay, and now I gotta... What is it to jump? Really? Um. Um. It's not A, S, D, or F. It's not X... It's not Z, X, C, or V. How the fuck do I jump? It's like Q and W? I don't even know. Excuse the fuck out of me? Like what? What? Uh, what? Jump. Space. Space. But you're doing other things with Z and X that is so strange. I have never seen a game, like, do that. Look at him go. Look at him go. Okay. Hold on. Let me just look around. Run is Z. That's bizarre. And then I gotta hit fucking, like, semicolon to inspect something. No, seriously, what? how do I fucking inspect something? Return. Um, these are, like, crackhead controls. It all comes down to thoughtful use of comestibles. One of Isabel and I's uh, mutual friends has 
like, perfectly nice person, has, like, 17 pets, and they, like, control her life. And she, like, can't do anything, ever, because if she leaves the house, the pets will just, like, like tear the place up. And, like, shit everywhere, and, like, scream for hours. Just, like, like shockingly difficult to, to do anything with this person. Because their pets just completely dominate their schedule. What kind of life is that? Who wants to live like that? Why would you choose to live like that? Um... Like, listen, I- and, and, like, I'm coming across, like, a real, like, animal abuser Andy here. I fucking love animals, it's just that taking one on, I think people don't realize how much is involved there, and how much of your life you are dedicating to this creature. They're, they're doing that big excavation in the southwest. I tried to get a closer look, but was savagely whomped by galliforms. Okay. It's like the same party members in this game, right? But they just look different. Like some of them got redesigns. <laughs> I'm wondering if this guy on the flag is uh, Pungorma. Oh, interesting. I need- oh, I need the light chip! Light dash! <laughs> yeah, maybe these are clay models that got scanned in. That's- that's entirely possible. I get that vibe. <laughs> Excuse me. Long ago, Lord Gibulus w wisely ruled this land. That prosperous era was cut short by wretched anarchists. That's me. I'm wretched. <laughs> like, Isabel and I want a rabbit. We want a rabbit. And even bunnies can be a bit of a pain in the ass. But that is so much more, like, a rabbit will never just sit there and go, ah, unless literally, like, a hawk gets it. <laughs> like, they don't make a sound, besides, like, thumping, until they are dying. And honestly, based. Calthamite husbandry brought us prosperity, but also made us a target for opportunists like Vuix. Heat me, O oh son. Slapping bugs is a great way to restore your flesh and will. Try it out sometime. Oh, interesting, okay. Everybody's saying, like, oh, you don't want a rabbit. Isabel has had rabbits in the past. I think we can handle it. She wants an axolotl and says that they're not terribly high maintenance, and that's... I've, you know, I think everybody's heard nightmare stories about any sort of pet, but what the one that I've heard is that axolotls are really high maintenance. I have no idea if that's true or not. Oh, look at that animation. That's cool. If you hold a rabbit wrong, it will snap its own spine trying to wriggle away. Hey, that's awesome. I have basically no desire to ever pick up an animal like that. I, in fact, I actively don't want to. Because I'm so... It, when I pick up, like, a little dog or something, I'm like, Oh my god, I'm gonna break its little bones. It's so tiny and fragile. Oh my god, I can't be doing this. You know? So, it, good, fine. I, I don't need, I don't need an animal to, like, give me attention all day. Banana? Banana. I, I, I don't, I don't need, I just, if it just sits there and shits and pisses and eats fucking leaves all day, that's awesome. Based. Huh. There's a weird seam in the ground there. Like, I, I honestly hate picking up pets, also because I'm, like, a little bit of a germaphobe. So there's a keyhole there. Dock key required. Uh, like, 
You know much? You know how much like shit those things are rolling around in? I don't want to pick it up. And it's just gonna lick my face. I'm lost. I'm doing the fucking anno speaking of Germa, I'm doing the annoying thing where like I'm playing a super highly anticipated game and I'm just like talking about my personal life in the background. And it, not even in the background. I'm just dominating like I'm not even talking about the game. I'm loving the game so far. Chief Blairall is uh, not in at the moment, I'm afraid. Feel free to go in though. Everybody talks so much more like normally. I knew Vuix would betray us. Villainous slug. Ooh, I see some Z fighting on the left there. Not even Z fighting, there's just some weird shadow stuff going on. Ooh, I have my cursor right in the middle of the screen and it would drive you guys nuts. But you can't see it. I hate it when I'm like looking at a VOD. Like, when Germa played Punch-Out on the Wii, he was, like, distracted with, like, real-life shit the entire time. And, like, barely interacted with the game. And it was sad. Because now I- now it's, like, it's guaranteed he will never stream it again. And also, I'll never actually get to see him really, like, you know, engage with it. Upper house key. Oh, the banana's there. Shit. I know, watching Bella play this, I know there's, like, a... You do a spin move that, like, flies you forward. So maybe I need that, like... I, I think that's what the light chip moment was all about. Oh my god. Listen, I'm so happy for Germa with Grotto Beasts. He seems to really enjoy it, and a lot of the fans seem to really enjoy it. But I could not care less about Grotto Beasts, and every time he spends, like, half of a stream talking about it and not engaging with the game, I am sad. I think this is Pongorma, right? Sir Pongorma, what brings you to new Muldool? Oh god, the tricushioned chair lies vacant. Hey, guess who's going ape shit now? Guess who's going ape shit? The other dogs. Lord Blairall has been abducted, taken north to Vuix's edifice. Guys, I'm just gonna have to go like literally just like Jumanji this house and just let all the dogs just run free and just like tear everything up and piss on everything. Because they will not shut up. I know you can hear that. Fuck me, man. The thing that Isabel said was that they got these dogs when they were puppies, and they were like, puppies, oh, this will be so easy, you know? And now it's like, fuck. Fuck. Ugh. I'll wait like a couple minutes, maybe they'll settle down. Because those ones do have, like, a settle down function in their brains. The other, like, the spoiled piece of shit never settles down. It literally will just bark until the sun fizzles out, like I said. Just so, the song ended. That's how long I've been fucking molding. Just so. And I've sourced fresh pneumatophores to facilitate our journey. I trust you need no instruction in their usage. I think they went over this at the Wayne house. Give me that. Did Wayne talk in the first game? Got pneumatophore. Oh, I see. This is probably the thing that lets me spin jump. Hey, I got a guy. Pangorma. He was the last crewmate in the first game. Oh god, crewmate. Oh god, crewmate. Oh. Okay, getting used to the keyboard controls. It's not that crazy to have space barbie jump. It's just weird that you're also doing... Enter, arrow keys, Z, X, Q, and W. I know I can rebind them, but I'd rather just complain. Why, why change something when you can just bitch about it? By the way, the dogs, uh... Bitching about the dogs actually worked, because they, they shut up now. <laughs> I 
I keep. I'm gonna do that a lot. It's just like Elden Ring, where we would constantly go up to NPCs and press jump, because typically you hit A in Souls games to talk to NPCs, but in Elden Ring, A is jump, so we would go up to them and go like, BING! None may enter the treasure room so long as I remain here. Battle? Whoa, there's Z fighting. Plain and simple. None... Okay. I thought I was gonna fight you. Can I maybe, uh... No. Sir, I challenge you to a duel. So much for not checking this out soon. I, listen, I don't think I said I won't check it out soon. I said I may do it soon, I may do it in a while. I, I really frequently hedge my bets on things like that. I wish I could like zoom out and look at some of these big things. And it's, it's, this, this game is just as I suspected so far in that it is more, oh, I need to go back to the Wayne house, right? Uh, can I just fast travel there? I forget where the thing was. It was right over here, right? It is more polished. And in that sense, it almost feels as though something is lost from the first game. But at the same time, I very much dig what this game's vibe is too. It's just different. It all happened so suddenly. Buick's troops abducted the cafe owner. Without coffee, we'll be defenseless against spores. There is a zoom out button? Uh, I'm sorry, I... This has been a lousy stream so far. Uh, I just want to play Celeste. I, I kind of, like, I did want to play this, but I kind of had to force myself to play this and not more Celeste. The Celeste VODs have been getting rapidly deteriorating view counts. I've come to accept that series by the end will be getting, like, a thousand views, maybe. Which is fine. Totally fine. It's part of the job. Okay. Uh, zoom out or in? It's the bracket keys. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know. Oh, look at that. Ungorma. Yeah, his helmet's totally different. I kind of liked his old goofy one. Okay. <laughs> I love these little dudes that are just walking around. And guess who's back, guys? Guess who's barking again? You'll never guess. <laughs> Charlie do be barking, though. <laughs> now, I think we'll get a nice low-maintenance pet, like a pug. But wouldn't you agree, chat? Low-maintenance pug? Uh, okay, there was a- there was a water- there was a fast travel thing somewhere around here, right? It was on this side? No, I think I ran past it already, fuck. Okay, hold on, let's run again. Here we go. Let's look for it, and then actually use- whoa. Oh, that's awesome. I much prefer that, holy shit. So you can just go to the afterlife. This was a feature I was asking for in the first game. Alright. So, oh yeah, now I gotta go back to this guy. <laughs> it's funny seeing them platform like this. I like their very, like, in extremely stiff body language. God. I like that they give you a little thing on the ground when you jump to indicate where you're going to. That's good. Fuck. Boing. Yeah, Wayne House. Thank you. <laughs> I l you gotta love a fast travel system where you have to slowly let yourself sink into a pool of slime. That's based. I gotta stop saying that. Uh, okay. I think just go out this front way. I don't know which is faster. There's a little cave at the bottom, right? I like that your, your companion 
like your your party members sort of zoom in from off screen when you go through a door like that seems very much not intentional but i it kind of feels like a bug that it was just deliver deliberately left in the game okay you know maybe that machine in the oh god oh, synchronized jumping Maybe that machine in the afterlife is what I need to use this new metaphor on. The one that was occupied earlier. Maybe talk to, like, the big guy. The menu has a hint on where to go. Oh! Proceed north to Vuex's edifice. Use air dash to cross the ocean. Okay, well, I, do I air dash yet? Do I know how to do that? I don't think I know that. I think that's what this thing is going to give me. I'm just being quiet for a second to see if the dogs are picking up on the microphone. And they barked while I was talking. Oh, I can't head north. Well, let me just dick around. I don't know. Yeah, they're picking up. Very cool, very poggers. And it's just the thought that this is, like, polluting audio for, like, probably a few, like, a few thousand people in the future for years to come. People who will watch this VOD will just have to fucking cope with that. Uh... Okay, I don't... Does anybody know what I do here? I hate to be stuck in the first, like, two seconds of the game. What do I do with this thing? The way he was talking, he was like, Oh yeah, I heard... Because like, I remember that one NPC talked about it in... Wayne World. Wayne's World. Yeah, should I just use it from my inventory? Maybe that's, that's a good idea. Didn't really consider that. Just use it. While airborne, press C to air dash. Hold C to extend air dash. C! No, I just can do it. I can just do it now. It's just it didn't tell me the button. Weird. Okay. Okay, I see. There we go. Speed! <laughs> oh god. That's awesome. Now I see. <laughs> I'm like deranged. I, I'm like in such a bad mood, but this game is so cool. Like, people have noted, people have been like, dude, why do you get so, like, pissy, uh, at Bella when you're doing... When you're doing a stream and she's not hooked up to a microphone and she, like, talks. And a lot of it is honestly because, and I know this is a very stupid reason. This is incredibly, like, this is not an excuse, this is just a reason. It's because I, I hate having, like, stuff go on in the background. It, like, deeply upsets me. Because for such a long time, I struggled with having poor audio quality and having a bunch of background noise and other issues to the point where microphone i hate to say it but like microphone issues like that like trigger me deeply so like any any perceived pissiness is not there when we're both hooked up to, hooked up to lavalier mics i know that's such a like dumb like specification but I just like people to have the ability to hear us all clearly. And of course I greatly enjoy Isabel's company and uh, I'm fine with her chilling and talking about the game, but it, it's just the, I just think about the audio. Okay. Uh, I, I remember the thing that I needed to jump to, I just, don't remember exactly where it was. I think it was on top of this. No, that's where I just went in. Uh, in fact, 
Do I have to hit zoom out every time I enter a place? That kind of sucks. Oh, please. There we go. It's where the hand is pointing. So let me think about this. It's whack that it's a platform. Let me move downward, game. There's nothing in the way. Okay, so I gotta hit space and then C. I gotta get it a run. I, I hit the jump button, so I don't know why the game didn't jump. Go on. Oh, that works, though, I guess. No, I think this is the same place. Yeah, audio management is just, like, a nightmare. Yeah, I would definitely recommend this to the people who thought the first game was too crusty, but first game... I'm not gonna say first game is not worth playing. Come on. I'm jumping! What the fuck is happening? Can you not run and jump at the same time? I don't think you can run and jump. No, you can? It's definitely, like, not working sometimes, like... Okay, now that I'm doing it really loudly, it's working every time. Sometimes it just doesn't work when you're running. What the fuck is up with that? Sometimes the jump... Like, very frequently the jump button just... Doesn't go through. The fuck is that? Platforming is crusty in this? Well, that's good to know. Well, maybe I don't need the, uh... I don't need the running start, I guess. That's fucking annoying. That jumping while running only works, like, half of the time. You're not some Snosa, are you? No. You have 27 bones. I have, like, 207. Material mitts. I wonder if that is an actual word. I'm curious if it's a... Uh, military materials and equipment. The shipping of material south into the battle zone. Huh. Like material, spelled like this. Because the first game had a bunch of misspellings in it. Uh, I don't know why I backed out. So power plus six. Weighty handwear such as was deployed in the conflict of Amulam. So materiel, it makes sense. Uh, speed minus 16. Speed doesn't affect you on the overworld, does it? That would suck if it did. Combat pleather. Good batch. That seems good. The people of Mokotil shun lathing and for gloves rely on other processes. That's not how you say that. Yeah, that's awesome. The dogs are going crazy right now. What a great thing it is to own a dog. Excellent. Okay. Uh, I only have 27 bones, so all I could get is the gloves. All right, do we want the gloves? It's, you have to get the gloves. This is, this is your classic, like, first actual upgrade of the game. God, that is so awesome that the dogs are going absolute ape shit. I love when they do that. I love that. And what a pleasant noise, too. What, 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 a, what a pleasant sound. It's just music to a human being's ears. I don't think we have anything for this guy. Yeah. That is a very satisfying back out sound. I love all the hands in the in the overworld design. Yeah, sorry boys. Sorry boys, be right back. Haha, <laughs> be right back, haha. <laughs>
Okay, so I let out the three dogs because they were barking because the other dog was out of its cage. But the other dog, he doesn't like to be outside. It'll freak out and scream until the sun fizzles out. So I have the little dog inside and all three of the other dogs outside. Can I play a video game now? Can I play a video game now? Just went up a bunch of flights of stairs. Play a video game now, please? Uh, is this really all there is to do here? I, I kind of want to just try dropping into the water. Oh, hey. Treasure. Dubious berry. The dubious little creature. Gotta remember I can run. Weird. Hey, listen, if everybody's happy, I'm happy. Just as long as they're not yappy. <laughs> What do I do here? Oh, I just jump up the ladder. That's kind of funny. Uh, okay. Also, that's, that flag is not of Pongorma. That's probably the- I forgot his name again because the names are like nonsense. Like Blelm or whatever the fuck. Okay. Yeah, that, that goes really far, so. I don't need to worry about that too much. Getting a running start, I don't think that helps. Blaryl. That's the spice. Uh, I keep just walking slowly, because I'm looking at the fucking audio levels, because I, I, it's a nightmare. Because the dogs are still barking outside now. Hold on. No, I think now the little dog is freaking out again. Pretty cool. When Hylothims are frondos, the harvest time's upon us. The mines. It looks like they have metal detectors that they're just like whacking things with. God, they love to bark. That's so cool. Agreed, chat. Very cool. The fronds are obviously valuable. And imagine, and like... And, like, I just have a conscience, and, like, do you ever think about your fucking neighbors? Anybody else? Anybody else have neighbor dogs that would go fucking ape shit all the time and be super fucking annoying? Anyone else been, a, been affected by secondhand smoke dog? I, I'd be willing to bet, like, half of the people watching. And the people who have these dogs just, uh, I guess don't give a shit. Or just literally don't think about that. I guess they literally just- the thought didn't even fucking cross their minds. That is the only explanation that I can think of for why people do that. Because that's a huge reason not to get a very loud animal. You know? It's because you have fucking other people living in- around you. Ugh. The fronds are obviously valuable, but it's important to trim them anyway, so you can't get- you don't get Pullman. Pullman. Sometimes we find them too late, and then you just have to tear them out before they turn bad. You hate to see that. Everybody's a lot more... sensical. In this game. Hylothims? Like, this is just actual speech, but just with weird words. In the first game, it was like true fucking nonsense. Hylothims, they're hylum rich cave formations. You're just hearing about this now? Of course. Gotta get your daily dose of hylums. Glove lathing, burrito synthesis, all starts with hylothems. Find a rich vein translates to a lot of bones. A lot of bones. They were talking about glove lathening or whatever. I forget if they said it was forbidden or if it was the new way of doing things. I think they said it was forbidden. Oh, and this is this room. Very cool. Wee -hee. Wee. I very much like it when it's zoomed out. How do you guys feel about that? You get to have some say in it. Hello? This guy looks like an enemy from the first game. 
my god. Some very exotic walks on display here. Holy shit. I like the actual human eye on that guy. <laughs> Unbelievably powerful walks in this game. I'm impressed so far. I assume this will actually be a real fight. Okay, let's play the game. That's a heal. That's that's your, uh, what was it? Mending meat or some shit? I forget. Inflicts dissolute status on target, reducing its power by 20% and damaging flesh over time. Lasts three turns. Okay. Dissolute. Huh. That, that you know, let's just do that. Fuck it. Let's just try things out. Cave Sinist. Tyro. That is a really cool animation. The little things dripping off of him, too. I like that the enemies are like... It's like the background is moving backwards and they're moving towards you. Like, very, very slowly. Uh... Let's just snap. I like that it's not called attack anymore, it's just called snap. Uh, let's just snap. Fuck it. These guys seem pretty easy. But already, like, as soon as you get one party member. And I feel like those fights at the beginning were very, very difficult. He explodes! And then the pieces kind of... Yeah. They are walking towards me. But the pieces are going too fast for the background, and fucking Tyro over here is going too... No, he's also going too fast. He's, his walk animation is, like, too quick for the background. Can't expect perfection there, though. Yeah, I, uh... I kind of figured that the dogs would not just be in their constant bark mode. Isabel, if... Do you... If you could go, like, address the situation, I don't know. Cause, let me... Let me keep... Let me get you up to speed. Before the stream started, the Pomeranians were, like, going ape shit, and the little shithead was going ape shit. So, I just let them all out outside. And then I texted Isabel and I was like, hey, babe, do you think you could get the dogs back inside when they're done? And then, you know, like 10 minutes of stream go by. And then the dogs, I think, got let back in and they started barking again. I went down, I let the little shitter dog just roam around the house because it was going, it was going crazy. And then the Pomeranians, I guess, I guess this is what's, what, what the family meant when they said it's not fair to the Pomeranians to let the little dog roam around. Because the Pomeranians will lose their shit if there's another dog walking around out there. So I let the Pomeranians outside and the little dog is just in the, the, the downstairs area. And I think now the little dog is jealous of the Pomeranians that went outside. That's, that's where we're at right now. And actually I hear silence right now, maybe she's already fix the problem. She's the best. I love her so much. I think she is currently... Bless up, God bless, I think she is fixing the problem as we speak. Some dogs are getting thrown into a meat grinder. Hearing silence is beautiful. Whoa. Burrito. Did I hear that burritos were also like, wasn't that something that they were using the uh, thing that they were mining down there in order to make the like, craft burritos? You wouldn't happen to be carrying juice. Oh yeah. Way? <laughs> Take this key. You can use my monitor. It's got soul crisper. For a second I thought he was saying I could like play soul caliber. No, he's talking about a move. Just bring the dog, dumb dog upstairs. That might actually be the solution. Because, yeah, she, like, needs someone to be there giving attention at any given time. But I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want her in here. In, in, if we could bring her in, like, the other room, then that would be cool. But, like... 
Because she like, it's a jumpy little dog. It's a dog that jumps up at you. It jumps. It gets, it, it's fucking, it's an adorable dog. Physically. But uh, it, it, it gets up on its hind legs and, and bounces around and, and like, like try, it like tries to snap at you. It's, it, I actually, at one point when I was sitting in a chair and I looked down at it, it snapped at my nose and I like felt it like scrape my nose with its mouth. It tried to bite my fucking nose. Are these guys- I forget if I've actually- Yeah, no, this is just- right. I'm getting super lost, hold on. I think- I, I kinda wish I could just make it default to zoomed out. Ooh. Let me jump. Does that mean I can fast travel here now? Oh yeah, secret? No. Voldemort origin story. <laughs> what, like I'm gonna turn into Voldemort? Like the Voldemort of dogs, guys. We can't talk about Harry Potter anymore. That's no. That's no good. That's no bueno. We can't do that. Okay. Uh. Hooey. Same shit. I am going to admit that I have not been paying the closest of attention to the game and now do not know. Ooh, banana. Never mind, guys, I found the game. Banana. Potassium. But to that person, there was a person earlier who was like, uh,. You know, I didn't really like- I didn't really want to play the first game because, uh... It's too- I hit C! I hit C, dude! They were like, I don't really want to play the first one because it seems a little too, like, jank and crusty. And that is- you're entitled to that opinion? That's totally fine. You can have whatever preferences you want, but can I just say... That... Learning to love things for their jank and crustiness will open your avenues to so many- oh wait. So many new things. Damn. I know I got a key from that one guy. You would think that hitting just up and right would put you at the right angle to do this, but I don't really think it does. Doesn't. I even tried to, like, correct for it there. Ooh, maybe this door. I'm all like cracked out right now. I just want to play Celeste. Can I just go play Celeste and do a fresh start of this game? And thank you again, Boo, for dealing with the dog thing. You're the best. Fuck that the cock! <laughs> I'm really fucking this up bad. I let them out a second time because they were freaking out. I, I think while you were rectifying the issue, I was explaining that. Because they were like, they were going absolutely insane. And I figured they wanted to be, they just didn't get enough time in the sun, I don't know. So I'm sorry, I'm just gonna try... No, no way. Fuck, and I'm... Cock, 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 cock. I kind of want to try this with my other controller so I can do controller controls. Because the, the layout of these buttons is fucking with me. And I don't know if I can even think of a better layout. There you go. That was so weirdly hard to do. Okay. Uh... So now, somebody said... Try looking for that room, yeah. Get the move here and the place you need to go is on the world map. Okay. Thank you. I will now try to actually fucking engage with the video game. I am so sorry. If people were- oh, maybe that room up there. 
Yeah, the run button just doesn't work when you're... Or the jump button doesn't really work when you're running. Use house key, there we go. Was the door, like, colored in because I had the key to it? Or did I just... Is that just coincidence? The computer animations are always probably one of my favorite parts of these games. Soul Crisper. By the way, Soul Calibur, a series I do not really touch very much. Or, or talk about at all. I mean, I've never touched it. It's, uh... It looks neat. Andrew and I might play some of it at some point. The one with, like, fucking Star Wars or whatever. I think that's... I think that would be the one we would do. I don't think we would do a full... A lot of people have asked for, like, oh, do, like, a full series deep dive on, like, King of Fighters or any other, or, like, Melty Blood or Guilty Gear or whatever. And, like, I'd love to if we had, like, infinite time. But as it stands, a lot of those series we're probably just going to end up playing one, uh game from okay i gotta get like my head in the game here this place did this have something to jump to shit there might be something i have to jump to like in the overworld I'm so sorry i i'm gonna start paying good attention to the game and then probably in about like 20 minutes i'm gonna stop playing and go play celeste not even kidding <laughs> i'm sorry for, for all the complaining and consternation. Whoa. This music's good. I know I complain a lot, and, uh, let me just, let me just have a little heart-to-heart -heart with you, chat. I love complaining. And I know everybody will be like, we know! But, like, know that I'm under no illusions about this. I think it is just, it is just one of my negative traits. I simply adore complaining. <laughs> I, it, it, you know, so if you ever think like, man, this guy complains a lot, just know that I know I'm kind of sorry. Look at these guys. Huh. Those like rotational sprites. Oh, push them into the meat grinder. Right, I haven't been initiating combat with the glove, but it seems like these guys are just talky. Five more kilometers should do it. Judging from the size of the herd, I'm guessing pre-accretion. Pre. Do they both say the same thing? Nodular extrusion required massive catabolism. We hope to see some examples in the subterrane. Yeah, it's like this game has much more... Whoa. Just like standard like sci-fi talk, you know? So many screens, I can learn the whole move set of the game. Perhaps you noticed the large birds outside. You know they're drawn to the sage's artifacts. Yeah, I don't have any of those. So when we saw a herd, of course, we resolved to construct the drill. I anticipate an ancient underground edifice. The excavation would proceed more rapidly if we had skull bomb. Perhaps you... Okay. Weird. Is this the first guy to have, like, repeat text like that? Because it just felt like he wasn't done talking when he said the first thing. Or have all of them had repeat things? Okay, I need Skull Bomb. I mean, I don't have that, do I? I don't think I do. Dubious Berry. I guess we just bounce out? Okay. Like, like when Isabel, at one point Isabel was like, Jacob, I don't even know why you do those reaction streams, because you just seem to be miserable the whole time. And, and it's like, yeah, <laughs> I am. I'm not miserable, but I, I just like complaining. I don't know. It's just a thing. Is this something? Kind of felt like something. I did see, there was an island there. Hold on. Okay. Is this interactable? What about this tube? What does the tube do? I do, I do do reaction streams every once in a while. Just pres like, 
shit like Nintendo Directs, uh, the, the Sony State of Play, E3 Game Awards, I think, are the real ones that I cover. And E3, I typically don't. It's just sometimes stuff gets posted in accordance with E3 that I do. Also, banana. Fuck, man. And also, all of these dogs are adorable. I would still like to show you guys Ruckus on stream. Ruckus is a fucking adorable dog, and the rest of them are adorable too. It's just one of the one of the Pomeranians is a bit nuts, and just like goes goes crazy in like a negative way when people are around. But they're all cute, even the new shithead. You do bring the positivity. Isabel gets excited about things. I sit there and go, "What the fuck is this?" I don't really do that much, though, honestly. I just am, like, indifferent to a lot of things. And just kind of, like, joke around. I don't know. Uh, let's try doing... Oh, yeah, what's Soul Crisper? The target is afflicted with burning for two turns, causing recurring, recurring flesh damage and reducing flesh gain. Okay. So that's good on enemies that heal themselves. Uh, okay. 175% as much damage as a basic attack. Why is, uh... Why is Wayne all melty in the UI? Do I have some kind of status effect or something? What the fuck is up with that? That's creepy. Stop it. Proceed immediately to afterlife. Perish. There's a die move. Oh, he got insta-gibbed by the enemies. Yeah, no, he's dead. That's cool. I don't know why I didn't notice that. Perish. Proceed immediately to afterlife. This is just die, no seriously, but Hylix edition. You might want to perish. That's probably true. <laughs> oh, I just want to show me the lightning. Show me the lightning. Like, do you lose anything when you die? That's an awesome animation. Holy shit. And, and... I love all the stuff with the gloves. I love the title screen. Games just be telling me to fucking die lately. I don't know. Rude. <laughs> I like this little Wayne. Oh my god, little Wayne. Little, little baby Wayne that shows up. You change course in midair with the C dash. No, you can only use it once per jump. A shame. Uh. I wonder if this thing will be back? No. Somebody earlier said to use the meat in the lock, and I was like, what? Uh, okay. I, I don't really have. I think I have a little bit of meat to put in the grinder. I love that you you permanently level up by putting meat in a meat grinder in this game. What a based series. Clean. There's a lot of great like quality of life stuff here. Okay, no, this guy's still just taking up space. That looks like the dream machine thing in Des Desmond's. I always want to say like Deden, but that's a Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> One meat tender. One. One. Okay. I'm sorry I keep accidentally slapping, it's just the X key, which in so many keyboard games is like jump and shit. Uh, okay. Hello, I would like to go to New Mildo, thank you. The Dunsparce. You don't even want to see the first one if this is the second one. <laughs> Man, I know you're probably joking, but... These games are such a unique experience. I hope that, like, these games haven't really taken off yet either. Like, they have, they have a pretty strong, like, sort of cult following. But I feel like they have not really reached 
the sort of appeal as something like uh, one of your pizza towers, you know. I am really just walking around aimlessly still. Uh, I just want to, I don't know, I just want to see if there's stuff to do here. Oh, hello. Did I already talk to this guy? He's got the Desmond's head. Oh, that's the Desmond. No, no, I am Smuldund. The Desmon went north, across the ocean, chasing rumors of active cabinets. It wasn't the Desmon. As our meditations turned more practical, bodies became largely superfluous. Do they have little faces? Like little uh, faces. It kind of looks like it. When the accretion buried the, ga the sage's great ship, Distharn Moon, my wife and I were st stranded here on the surface. It's also these, like, fucking just Mario coins. A hey, Mario! I kind of want to meet the dev just to eat one of the clay figures. Based? Is there something at the end of this that's gonna, like, shoot me up at all those or something? I don't really see a way to do that right now. I can get that one, but what about the one above it? Is there like a trampoline down there? No. It's annoying. You found boots! <laughs> cool. Let's hold down that run button. What am I supposed to do for this thing, do you think? Oh, maybe, uh... Go from up here? No? Even that doesn't seem to do it. Fuck. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I give up. Hope I don't need all those coins. Are those just bones, actually? Those might just be bones. Okay, and I've already been this way. I'm so lost. I need to go back to the overworld. I'm so fucking lost. Let's just, uh... How do I do it again? It's a gesture. Perish. Can I not? I can't? What? I don't know why I can't perish. Was I, like, not on the ground or something? What was that? Only in combat. Okay. Weird. <clears throat> well, that's a little annoying, but whatever. Okay. I really figured it wouldn't be just in combat, but that's fine. Just the, so, Mason Lindroth, creator of Hylix, has... I, I've been following his Twitter for a little while. And there's... This is the big, like, cow thing area, right? Fuck. Uh, he's been posting stuff on his Twitter about content for the next Hylix game. And I guess there's some debate on if that is... Hylix 3, or some kind of prequel, or even some people have been theorizing that there is going to be a remake. So I think... I just gotta remember what buttons to press here. Yeah, it looks like I'll make it here. Oh! Just barely. Here's where the airship comes in. I have seen, like, the flying parts of this game. Call airship. You must first acquire an airship. You know what? Fair. Just hoping this works. Oh, fuck. That was optimal. I have some difficulty with like perspective at times. Just gotta wait till you're a ways into your jump, and then you, you can still do the glide after too. Kind of forgot about the glide. Cool.
there isn't a limit to the air dash, I'm definitely holding down the button every time. Oh, here's where the airship comes in. Okay, we're at the point where the people who get the joke get it, and the people who don't are like, what's he doing? Just stop. More Dr. Seuss architecture. I like the music. There's still there's still some of that more like discordant weird shit of the first game. And I like that. I definitely would have missed it greatly if it wasn't here in some capacity. Okay. How do I feel like I've been here before? No? That coin have blood on it. Can't even knock. See guys up there. And that's that's replaced Samsnosa killing bugs, right? Is this no. Okay. Uh Is there somewhere else to go up here? Maybe I can climb around the mountain. Hold on, zoom out. I wish, I wish it would not reset to zoomed in medium every time. Maybe that's something I can change in the options, actually. Toggle shadows, landing indicator. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we have, I don't think we have that. Hello, I'm hitting escape. Go. I think I am very frequently, uh, hitting incorrect keys on the keyboard and then going why did that not register because i'm just not used to keyboard man i guys what are the speed runs for this game like like can you use this move to like get places you're not supposed to be um kind of getting somewhere right now i don't know if there's an invisible wall there or what There's a bug over here. Friend. Uh. I'm starting to wonder if this is actually the intentional route. Like this is where I'm supposed to go. Oh, I don't, I don't know about that. There's an invisible wall there. Just me and the boy. No, this- I keep thinking I'm gonna hit a death plane. Okay, now I'm gonna hit a death plane. Cool. Oh! Hey! This was good! Oh, hey, shit! I think there's the Desmond. Look at him, he's like a Chad now. <laughs> oh, shit. Quick. I keep- Okay, I know, complaining, complaining, complaining. I know I keep bitching, but I'll be running, and then I'll be like, what's the jump button? And then I'll hit spacebar, and I'm like, that's not the jump button, because it didn't work. And then I'll try, like, C or something. But no, it's just that it didn't work, because I was running. Wayne, I'm infiltrating the fortress. My research suggests that an intact cabinet lies within its walls. Suggest. Our task has likewise brought us to this place. We'll combine forces. Excellent. The canal leads under the fortress walls. Take this paddle and use the canoe. Cut paddle. It's a non-airboat boat time. <laughs> Look at... They're just stuck down there. I didn't even see what I got because I was so amused by that. It went away without me pressing any buttons. Is this the, like... Dream machine. I can push this chair around. The fuck? Just fully 3D object, chilling. Okay. Oh, and he's gr look at the fire. He's been grilling one of these little fuckers with the human eye. And I think I saw some of them over here. Red ones. 
Yeah, look at him go. We gonna fight those? Also, hitting these... It just recovers flesh. It doesn't give you more maximum flesh, right? Oh, hey, I slapped him. That was an accident. Look at the dude on the right! Oh my god. The one in the middle seems so much more digital than the other ones, you know? Like, it's clearly several different animations, like, spliced together. That one on the right is magical. I fucking love it. <laughs> okay. Uh... So, what do we what do we got? Let's try uh Soul Crisper. Feral Hydrostat. Road Fleam. <laughs> it's a road fleam. Of course it's a road fleam. Burning. Ugh, angry. It's one of the growler guys. God. N name a chiller battle theme. Like, RPG battle theme? Holy shit. So good. Every time it, like, gets to that part, I'm like, oh, yeah. Okay, uh, let's... Oh, the dogs are going off. That thing looks like it's gonna fucking die. And once you attack something, you can see how much health it has, which is really nice. First game, you couldn't do that. Best way to tell how much health they had was to use the move that takes away a quarter of their health. Uh... Okay. One of my guys is stunned. I don't know why Wayne is, like, sparkling. What, what's up with that? I don't know. Uh, maybe that's, like, him crackling with electricity? I don't know. <laughs> Just kill this asshole. Fuck. He had a knife! <laughs> he had a fucking knife! Road Fleam. Okay. That's cool. Uh, one thing I kind of miss is like the health bars. I think we had health bars in the original game. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Fuck it. Sorry if I'm, I'm doing so slow in these menus, because I keep trying to hit Z to confirm. Defending. Defending ended. Okay, so... Dedalsmon, you just snap on this guy. I love how they just explode. Chomp! That was an awesome animation. The little brain with teeth. Ugh. I'm just now realizing something. The, the turns are weird. We don't do all four of our attacks and then the enemy do all their attacks. We're, we're like interlaced. I, it took me that long to realize that was happening. I kept going like, why am I doing this for this character right now? Stunned. Oh, is that, that's not, is that part of it? Fuck, I'm so stupid. The obnoxious dog is leaving now. Holy shit. Massively pogged. Unbelievably pogged out. That thing has been a menace on our sleep schedule for too long. Okay, whatever. Just use snap. I think we'll be fine. Because even if Wayne dies, the other guy will get unstunned and be fine. I, I love how they just, their bits drift away. Oh, it's just happening because of speed? Okay. That makes sense. Love that those graphics just remained on screen. One. It went zero, one. Explain that one, atheists. Checkmate. The masculine urge to dash off that cliff and check and see if there's anything out there. Okay. Ah, yes. Progress! There was that one button that I hit underground that didn't seem to do anything, because then when I went back to the fast travel... Banana! Banana! When I went back to the fast travel guy, 
He still only listed two locations. I think... This is the hand of a shroob from Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. bananas even do? Can I look at that? Is it just like a really good item? Restore 75 flesh. It's just a good item. I thought that was like, my DK64 brain was truly in overdrive there. Because I just thought it was just DK64. Hold on. Is this somewhere I've been already? What's, what's down here? This will just take me back to the overworld, right? Yeah. But there were coins right there, is why I was confused. But I guess I just never went that way. I keep getting lost. That's something that happens to me a lot in RPGs. Oh, maybe, uh... I doubt this will open. I just want to check while I'm here. No. This music is incredible. I just want to sit here and listen to it. Aha! Uh -huh. Right, the menu gives me hints. Proceed north to Vuix's edifice. Use air dash to cross the ocean. Yeah, we were still... Maybe, uh... Maybe I just don't even need to be here right now? Did I go in that hole? Oh, that's... Perspective. Perspective. Perspective Andy. Yeah, the Desmond said to use his canoe. That's right. I don't know why- I am I can't fucking brain today. This is why I need to play Celeste, now that we're done with the puzzle maps of Celeste. Oh? Look at this dude running away. <laughs> okay, uh... I like the little electricity effect. Is that actually done using clay? It's kind of hard to tell. Kind of just looks like a digital effect, but I like see how it could be clay. Mycetic. You see it? Let's just focus this asshole. Yeah, Pongorma's going after Wayne right now. That's kind of fucked. <laughs> foam armor heals ally and applies foam, which increases max flesh and removes burning and leaking. Leaking. That's cool. It's like overheal in uh, TF2. And probably a billion other things. I just, I just know TF2. Let's light another guy on fire. Fuck it. Why not have multiple of them burning? The way these enemies move is like fucking... Your crush is coming this way. Act natural. <laughs> and this is what they do. Let's just light them all on fire. Fuck it. I mean, that is giving them all more opportunity to attack me, though. Admittedly. Uh... I like the lightning animation a lot, by the way. I just want to see it again. <laughs> It's not really- it doesn't seem like that good of a move, because it stuns me right after. Vulnerable. It's like an egg. Oh my god. That's like an egg with like a partially developed fetus like bubbling out of it. Is that what I'm looking at there for vulnerable? <laughs> they really sold the point there, Jesus. <laughs> Fuck. 
I'm gonna foam armor myself. Oh no, I don't have enough will. So snap. That's when I fucking snapped. Okay, it's not exactly a cakewalk right now. Uh, I don't have any will at all, or literally zero will. That guy's at one health, so hopefully both of these guys will get killed by the fire in the next turn. Okay, one of them got killed by my attack, the other lived, because he has to still take the, like, tick of damage. Eh. Should be fine still. Yeah. Goodbye. You found two antenna. You found three meat. You found one cookie. You found one stem cell. The four elements? That's like, one in, in off, one of the four elements is meat, so it works. Damn, that was just a random ass guy, too. He was just chilling there. It's not the easiest fight. That dude has like, Havel face. You know what I'm talking about, Dark Souls fans? You know what's up? Okay. Don't, don't think I can actually do anything with any of these cages. I continually love the way they, like, show up light on these screens. Oh god. I don't want to fight you right now. Nope. Sorry. The other guy ran away. This guy's running at me. He's like the guards. Bounce bad. So many bones. Fuck. Oh god. The dude on the right, that's like the biblically accurate version of the dude from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. He looks like he would burn well. I wonder if enemies have like weaknesses in this game. The backgrounds are a little more like generic in this one, although maybe I'm just thinking of a couple of the standout hits from the first game. Uh... We should probably do this. Can I use this on another party member? No, I still have zero will. <laughs> We're not gonna win. Dying doesn't have any downside in this game though, right? Am I, am I correct in that? Oh God. <laughs> that one was great. And I like that, like, the enemy attacks have animations, too. Okay, well, all my friends are dead. Oh, God, that was terrifying. And poisoned, too. Cool. <laughs> cool. I'm not eating. I'm not eating. Mm-hmm. So, right, can't just walk off this one, you'll be punished. I have some meat that I could deposit, okay, I, I hate that running disables jumping like half the time. worried about like falling off those stairs too. Oh, hold on. Does it, do you get auto healed when you die? Yeah, thank God. First game, I don't mind having to do it, but for a longer game like this, I think it would just get annoying. Part of the reason I was, I decided to play this was because I was already jamming out to the soundtrack, like some of the songs on the soundtrack. <laughs> And I was like, I just want an excuse to just download the entire soundtrack. And I can be like spoiler free on that. Vuex's edifice. We're still going there, right? Yeah. So, just gotta do stuff in there. I just died inside the castle. Ah. <sighs> 
I still think I am, like, the dogs have seemed to settle down. I think, I think one of the grown-ups of the home is, is here to, to manage the dogs. So I, th I, th I think I'll still do another Celeste stream after this. Because I'm addicted. Because the game's fun. The game's fucking fun, okay? Sue me. And it's something that I don't have to, like, think about. Because I'm kind of frazzled, as you can tell. I've already been up here. I forget how I got in the castle. I think it was, like, right by the front of the castle. Mm. Mm. I like that Desmond's like... A badass with a sword in this one. Like, what's up with that? Talk about a glow up. Yeah, I don't remember how I got in there. Fuck. Okay. Well, I'll just explore around, I guess. Okay, stop running so you can jump. Right, the boat. The fucking boat. So I just need to fall off, basically. And I'll be teleported where I need to go. I don't know why- I'm, like, fucked up today, guys. It's the boat. This game is also, you know, very surreal. A lot of it just mixes together in my brain. So, please forgive me. For my, uh... Being a little slow on the uptake here. Okay, as long as these guys don't catch up to me, that's fine. I'll run as minimally as possible, because I think it increases the risk of me falling off. Having an L plus ratio. What the fuck was that? Is that like a bunch of bones? Like 50 bones? I just enjoy slapping one of those things every once in a while, just for fun. Okay, I don't even want to try to fuck with that group of... What are they? Tyro? Oh shit, so many TVs. This is awesome. I have to try interacting with all of them. Like, I can't not. I can't wait till Jerma plays this shit. That's gonna be fucking awesome. Like, and hopefully the series, not just the first game. Because this is cool, too. Look at that just, like, real-ass key with, like, horns put on it. <laughs> That's awesome. I feel like Jerma's gonna be so bewildered playing the first game, because he does- he- He is a man who acts bewildered at a lot of things. Oh god. You found Soul Sponge. Cool. Thanks. Okay. Uh, thing. No. Wrong. It has Peep the Horror art style, so maybe it will literally kill him. I feel like CRISPR is a good first move. Maybe not, though. This thing has a tiny little Wayne head. It's like a little disgusting Christmas tree with a little Wayne head. This guy's got a lot of health. Warpo. Perish. I always think that's like, make them perish. This... Uh, I think- I, I don't actually like lightning very much. I've changed my mind about lightning. It's a cool animation, but the stunned thing hurts. Oh, I'm not eating. I'm not eating. I'm not eating. Mm. Oh. Dead. Hmm. I'm wondering if I can just use healing items on dead teammates. Was that a thing in the first game? Or like use foam armor? Okay. Uh... How much health does this thing have? 
it's not there. I assume pretty low. No, okay. Oh, it's because I haven't even actually hit it yet. But it's on fire, I must have hit it. Maybe it's just when you hit it with a normal attack, it, uh... See its health? Right, you needed a burrito to heal people, that's true. I love how... It, this game still has some of the crust of the first game. Namely... This shit where, like, assets stay on screen during the end of the fight thing. Like, most things go away, but some things remain. Like, I don't know if that's intentional or not, but it feels wrong. Meat, antenna, juice, soul sponge, cookie. Why does it say one like that? Is that because one of us, like, died and it gave us one health back? Upon re-alivening? So Soul Sponge was something we needed, I think. <laughs> or maybe I'm thinking about Soul Crisper. Fuck. Let's just check. <laughs> oh, okay, it's a burrito. Okay. Like, I'm shocked at how much jank remains in this game. Some of it's kind of annoying jank. But whatever. Oh yeah? Hey look, it's the little Wayne. God, is this a minigame? Oh shit. <laughs> oh hey, it's the song that I started the stream off with. This one is a fucking banger, if I do say so myself. Jesus, I have like all the moves. Can I double jump? Yeah, it looks like it. Just two. It's Celeste. Access difficulty settings in menu. God, is this gonna be a whole thing? Can't drop down through that, fuck. <laughs> Double jump resets after a brief delay. <laughs> Why is this here? I kinda think the baseline of this song Sounds like the Your Name Please song from Earthbound. Just a little bit. It's probably just a coincidence. Air Dash grants invincibility. Hold slap button to charge shot. My charge slap. Double jump resets after a brief delay. That's what I already read. Okay. wonder if I can jank my way up that thing. I don't really feel like trying right now, though. Oh. Ow. This is the good part of the song. This is a very Dr. Seuss looking thing. Mm. 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 <gasps> oh fuck, that all hurts me? The whole thing hurts me? Fuck. Do I have- oh, I see my health up there. Can I kill this thing? Oh, I can just shoot it. I'm a fucking idiot. Right, double jump. Okay. okay. I see things up there. Yeah, like, clearly this is not a Mason Lindroth composition. This has gotta be... Chuck, people are saying. Don't know the guy's last name. Clearly did a great job, though. Okay, uh... Fuck. <laughs> This is so, like, gimmicky. <laughs> I like it, though. Oh god, oh, I got hit by a fucking tactical nuke. Okay. Did my health reset or something? This doesn't- this part doesn't fuck around. And I'm doing this on the keyboard. With my hand tied behind my back. And my little brother is playing instead of me. And I got my blindfold on. Should I just charge shot it? No, I don't think charge shot like pierces. There we go. Jesus. Look at that guy over there. Cool hat, dude. 
And yeah, Mason Lindroth does have jams too, but his are a lot more, uh... What was it the chat member said? Primordial? Oh shit, that thing comes back. Oh! Oh! This is cool. This is really cool. A little excuse to make some cool 2D art. Fuck. Whoa. That death animation was so cool. And it reverses and he comes back. Fuck. Uh... Exactly... What exactly are we doing here? Oh! Oh, I see a gap over there. That's that's gotta be that's like total blender move. It just looks like the I hate to say it, but it's it looks like the fucking like what the R slash simulated subreddit. Sorry, Reddit reference. Just to add to the cursed stream. Okay, I feel like I can get across there. Maybe. Maybe I'm full of shit. God damn it. <laughs> okay. The guy turns into a platform on death. Oh. I didn't realize that. Okay. Huh. How cool. Oh, I can destroy his projectiles too. Burrito. Banana. This part is crazy. I kind of... Sometimes there's like... You gotta philosophize about if you want to put something that could be kind of spoilery in a thumbnail, or if you want to put like, you know, something that looks really cool and visually striking in a thumbnail like this. And just say, fuck it. God. Can't shoot upward, can I? No. Come back over here. Perfect. Oh god. Ho! Oh, oh, Ho! What are you doing? What are you doing to me? Right, I can destroy his things too. Or hers! It looks so cool. Fuck. Ugh. It's a little jank. The platforming's a little jank, but it's cool. <laughs> now I'm like I'm like farming for thumbnails here. Oh fuck. Oh god. Is that a navel? Whoa. The ten bones? <laughs> fuck. Oh that's the thing that nukes. Great. I feel like I missed so much there. The physics of this kind of remind me of, uh, here's a real deep cut. Winston the Wonky Westinghouse's wonderful walkabout. The fucking, like, cringe game that I tried to make in Flash by stealing an engine, basically. I, like, stole somebody's, like, basic platformer engine. And this, it reminds me of the physics in that. The stolen platformer engine. I never would have attempted to, you know, make money off that game. It was just a little school project, but... It wasn't even a school project, actually. So, wait, I had to, like, fall through these, maybe? Look at this. <laughs> Cock! Dead. This song is amazing. I do think uh, right after this section, I will stop for now and uh, come back another day. Hopefully less cranky. Okay, let's drop right into the middle of this thing. Here's the good part, here's the good part, here's the good part. Get ready! Huh. 
Oh god. Oh god. Right, I, I forgot I can like dash. That's a thing here. But I think I I think I still do want to play some Celeste after this. Probably maybe just like a kind of a short Celeste stream. Like an hour or something. Is Isabella, are you watching? I wanna wait I want you to weigh in on this. What is your what is your thought on this? Uh look at all that stuff up there. Bunch of fucking nonsense. For a second, I was like, "Is that like the stuff that was in uh, De Desmond's area with all this like weird bullshit around?" I'm sorry. Am I crazy, or was that coin invisible? Was that like one that I collected earlier and it like respawned, but not the graphics? Oh, oh god! No, no, go up, go up, go up, please. Cuck. Fuck. Oh no, they're like... I see what's going on. Once you collect them, they become like a little ghost coin. <sighs> oh. What is my reward? Nothing? It's nothing. Brilliant. Well. <sighs> I'm not sure where to go. Like, I see a banana up there, and that is very poggers, but, oh god, no. See that thing over there? No, that's just another, like, pickup, I think. Let me try going up over here. No, this is where I fell in. Cock. Sorry, I'll stop saying the C word. Maybe over here? This seems like the way. This is new, right? No? Yeah, this guy's new. Here we go, this is that stuff we saw from the other side. Burrito. But, so what do, do burritos, are they just the projectile type, or do they also revive in this game? What's up with that? That's just into the pit again. Can I, can I get out of here? There we go. Basically what I'm trying to say is, NO, NOT INTO THE PIT! It burns! Cock, okay, cool. I keep saying cock, and I died! Cool. Fuck. And that, I think that's the way I gotta go, I just gotta use my double jump. Yeah, I guess I can just, I can always just check. Options, no. Exit minigame, oh, I can't, uh... There's no... Okay. So go down here. Double jump. Beautiful. Now playing a platform a little bit, a little bit more of my language. Now we're talking. Oh God, you are so strong. You are so big and strong. I fear you deeply. <laughs> let's, let's try to play it safe, I guess. Instantly getting my shit kicked in by this one guy. Okay, there you go. Jesus Christ. That guy was a menace. I have one health. Okay, I think we're going this way. Uh... Is that good to go down there? Oh god, those are all... I thought those were just spikes! Am I done done? No, okay. One sec. I'm not eating. Shut up. Hmm. Oh, this is food. Mm. Ah! <laughs> Bro. Bro, please. Fuck. It like Castlevanias you when you get hit. Like you get launched back in a little arc. Exactly. Castlevania. Mm -hmm. 
God, I love gamer references and humor. Nerd culture. Isabella and I have this, like, inside joke where we just call everything nerd culture. Because, uh, maybe charge shot would be better for this guy. There we go. There's a bunch of, like, because there's a bunch of, like, shops in malls around Seattle in particular, and probably other parts of the world, too, but... Shops that just sell, like, anime figurines and shit. And, like, other, open quotes, nerd culture stuff. And I think one of them even said, like, nerd culture on it, and that's why we started, like, jokingly saying that to each other a lot. Big guy. Oh my god. I need to use my dash here. Or I could try to spam and lame him out. It gets mad when you, when you hit it. Oh god, this is the thing on the title screen. Or at least like a chibi like video game version of it, I guess. Fuck. No! Fuck, that's so far back. No. No, please. I gotta fight this asshole again. Am I- Okay, wait, wait, wait. Go down here. Really? These things don't break? Okay. Maybe if I stand on them and shoot? No. That effect right there when when you charge up your charge shot, very <clears throat> whoa, very digital looking. I don't know if that's actually clay. It doesn't seem like it. Like one of the most impressive parts of Hylix One was the way that like basically everything except like the text, I guess, was made out of clay. Look at that dude going insano mode. Like, put penis music down there. Oh. oh god. Oh god, this is a lot. Okay. Okay. I think I got this guy down to a T now. Cool. Is this even where I need to be, though? Oh god, you're an enemy! I didn't know, I guess everything red is an enemy. Fuck. I thought that was like, like a collectible. It didn't look very enemy-y. Fuck. Mm. Two charge shots takes care of that guy. Fuck. God, do I have to kill this thing every time? I guess not. Technically, it doesn't give me anything. Spamming normal shots is no way to live. Okay. Kill that thing. I thought that was like a guy that you get. Okay, oh that stops the platform. But only for a moment. Shit. I really don't want to fall off this thing. Okay. That really barely does anything. Oh, wait, no! <laughs> that shot sound is a bit annoying. Not a huge deal, but, you know, I'm happy. There's like little beasts controlling all these ships. I need to shoot them to like, st stop them in place, but... I can only stop them when I'm like roughly at their level, and only for like a second. 
Like, what the fuck? Oh. How about I... Hold on, I got my dash. Fuck. Yeah, I just thought about the air dash. I... That helps in that situation. Really don't want to get bald on here. Saw a video on Twitter of Pungorma balling. The haters said it would never happen. Look at him now. In the Hall of the Greats. Hey, okay, fuck, man. Oh. 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 Damn it. Okay. There's a lot going on here. Fuck. Cool. It's a little, uh, whoa. There's some jank going on here. Wish I could kill the guy directly underneath me, but that's cool. Fucking awesome, man. That was awesome. Fuck, man. I don't really know what to do here. Uh, I died. I died! <laughs> do I, like, suck at this part? Like, I always get hit by those guys because I just get impatient. Fuck. Or is this really hard? Ow. Kind of figure this will not be the only section like this in the game, too. I don't know if that's right or not, but... I always get those top two coins. I keep trying to get the bottom one, even just on the principle of the thing. I hit C. Cock. Okay, this guy's giving me a lot of trouble all of a sudden. Fucks up with that. Just gotta shoot when you're close, otherwise they dodge, I think. Well, it's not looking good. Maybe I could get over on the left there, actually? I don't know. <laughs> Bruh. I think I maybe could get over on the left, actually. I think that might be possible. Play the fucking game. Finally. That means this will be the run. Ow. Cool damage. Thanks, Redmond. Yeah, the, the dodge just has, like, startup frames. It's not like... It's not like Dark Souls, where... The dodge roll is, like... Instantaneous. I just get over here. I didn't even need to get up there. Maybe there's some special, like, extra thing up there. Oh, thank God. Ow. Dude, let me shoot. Ow. There's a couch up there. 
I like that. It's like you kill the enemies and they come back like basically instantly. Whoa, whoa. Fuck. Cock. Okay. Sorry, a lot of lack curses. Oh. Okay, thank god. Those save points refill your health too. That's how I've been able to like survive so many hits. Get muscle applique if you do that there. Ah. Well, rip muscle applique, but we would have been there all day, I think. Fuck. Oh, such a such a history of getting all the way down to the last guy of those and then getting hit. Okay, I think we're done. Is this it? That's awesome. Thumbnail. Am I steering? No. For some reason that made me think of Rocket Knight. Banana. Oh. Everything looks like Wayne in this game. Even the building we're in looks like Wayne. Ooh. I did not like that animation. <laughs> but in a good way. This is Wayne's body? Oh god, it's a weird Wayne spaceship. <laughs> the star's supposed to be cut off like that. Hmm. Cool. Well, that was fucking weird. The 2D segment, of course. Part of any good platformer. Okay, so I think... <laughs> wow, get a nice fucking snort in there just to the, uh, end the, like, misery stream. I think I'm gonna end it there. Uh, is there just a manual save in the menu? There we go. Uh... Just wanna check. Oh, and there's auto save too, cool. Very cool. Well, I guess next stream maybe we'll get some snow sub, but we got, uh... The boys are here, which is cool. Uh fun fucking game I'm enjoying it so far I feel like we've only scratched the surface and uh, next time next time I'll be in a bit of a better state of mind I think uh, and I think I will probably if 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 this doesn't end up happening I will uh, say it in chat or something or maybe announce on Twitter but uh, I think I'm gonna come back with a little bit of Celeste maybe just like an hour of it or something so uh, I will see you then as long as that happens, because I just want to, I just, I just want to play more. <laughs> uh, so take it easy. We're not going to raid anybody right now, because I'm going to keep my dwindling viewers. Not a lot of viewers right now, because uh, complaint stream, I think, and because RPG. So it'll dwindle even more. The next Celeste VOD will have legendarily low views. It'll be a sight to behold. Uh, so take it easy, go get some food or something I'm gonna eat, I, I'm clearly hungry I'm gonna eat this food that's here And then uh, we'll come back with a little bit of Celeste See you then, bye